dang it. I really wanted to get one of these. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Let's see, let's see what new eggs got. Sold out, sold out. Ah, man. All right. So if you're one of these, if you are trying to get your hands on the new RTX 3080, for whatever reason, mining, gaming, um, whatever, pick your poison, and you're running into this exact same issue, I've got the solution. At least from a miner's point of view. Gaming, whole different story, um, but from a miner's point of view, this is, uh, this is the solution. Okay. There are new specs out on the mining hash rates for the RTX 3080. Right now, Ethereum Classic is the most profitable coin to mine. Uh, stock settings, you're looking at about 86 mega hashes per second at 210 watts at the wall. Uh, obviously, these are stock settings. They can be manipulated. You probably get a little bit more uh, hash for a little bit less power. And, uh, you know, that that's not bad. 86 mega hashes, not bad. Um, the next card down is the Radeon 7, okay? So the, the 3080 retails it for 700, and the Radeon 7, you can't really buy cheaper than probably around 800. Most of them I see over $1,000. So that's still not really uh, convenient. Um, I'm certainly not going to pay the absorbent and inflated prices that the scalpers want for one of these cards because that would just be giving them more power to continue to do what they do. Um, the next card down is the RX 5700. Um, 51, some people get up to 53 to 54 mega hash. Um, and that's a, a good option. Even if you buy two of these cards, uh, you can get them for around $400. Uh, that's $800 for over 100, um, I hope, 100 mega hash per second and uh, probably close to the same kind of power output. Um, so you're still cheaper than buying a, a 3080. Now where I'm at, I'm not talking about 5700 because I'm talking about uh, a quick return on investment. So what I'm looking at is the RX 5600. Um, stock, you're looking at about 110 watts, 40 and a half mega hash. That's not bad, it really isn't. And when you think about the return on investment, uh, the ROI or return on investment, you're you're looking at a dollar fifty six per day before electricity cost. Okay, so what if we had two of these? Uh, I'm going to use the two crypto calc. I'm going to use the Vega fifty six because it's it's very similar uh, to mega hashing um, results. All right, so mega hashes you're looking at about eighty six mega hash. Uh, with two of the Vega 56, uh, I'd say you'd probably be more closer down around 82, 83 mega hash on the um, 5600. So that'll probably put you close to three dollars, maybe two dollars and ninety-five cents. Two of these cost. Let's look at it. RX 5700, 5600. Sorry, I said 5700. 269.99 for one, so two. You're looking at about 500, and I don't know. My math is <laughs> what is that? 560 bucks, 5 540. Regardless, you're looking at way less money overall for about the same kind of mega hash and less power consumption, quicker return on investment, and it's cheap. So you get two of these, and that equals one RTX 3080. Um, and at current prices, you could get th uh, uh, three sets of these. So you could get six of these for one RTX 30. And if you had six, let's just look at that, for the cost of one RTX 30 on eBay, you're making nine bucks a day. Nine bucks times 30, that's uh, $270 a month before electrical costs. So I went ahead and did that. I went ahead and got a few of these cards. And I got them running here. Well, I have one of them running, and it's GPU 3, so I'm at about 40.2 mega hash, uh, and I'm running around 85 to 89 watts. Uh, now, I'm still tuning this, and if anybody has any tips, 
uh, as to why this is happening, but uh, it seems like the, the power is fluctuating and the hash rate is fluctuating uh, somewhat. Um, I've messed with the tuning parameters and uh, haven't really been able to get it tapped down, but uh, from what I understand, it looks like the memory uh, controller load is what is fluctuating, at least on um, on GPU-Z. But anyway, so I run two of these. I get 82 mega hash, 81 mega hash, roughly, for around 180 watts. And I've only spent $500. Now, on Newegg, uh, you get a $10 off promo code for each one you buy. So if you buy five, you get $50 off. Um, there's also a $20 rebate card. Now, the rebate card, you only get one card per person, per address, per household. Um, so if you buy five cards, you're only getting one rebate card. So that's, uh, that's too bad. But still... Uh, you're looking at a little over $500 for two of these cards. You're looking at $1,500 to $1,700 on eBay for one of the RTX 3080s. You could buy six of these cards for the same kind of money. You could be making way more money than one of those cards is going to make on the miner. And uh, um, that's the solution. So I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, like and subscribe. If the uh, information was helpful, um, like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, be kind. <laughs> you know, I, we're all trying. We're all trying to do our best around here. But uh, I'm really happy with this. You know, uh, I've got 96 shares on this run so far. Uh, the other ones are averaging around 70. So, you know, that that's what... It, that's uh, not a bad increase. Um, making more shares, making more money. Uh, consuming less wattage than my RX 580s uh, in some in some of the cases, but uh, it's a pretty good card. So hope this was helpful. Again, uh, happy mining, and we'll see you on the next video.